my bachelor's degree is from Loyola Marymount in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. My master's degree is from Cal State Fresno, and my PhD is from the University of Utah. Mm -hmm. All right, we are here with our second edition of Faculty Fridays, and today we have Professor Robin Heaton. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, it's my today. pleasure. So first, I'm going to ask you a few background, just general questions. So where are you from? I am from California. Where did you go to school? Uh, my bachelor's degree is from Loyola Marymount in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. My master's degree is from Cal State Fresno, and my PhD is from the University of Utah. So how did you end up all the way here in Ohio? <laughs> Great story. I had no intention of coming here. Um, I was at a conference in Washington, D.C., and someone told me that they're about this opening at this university I had never heard of, Heidelberg. I was like, oh, okay, I need a job, I'll, I'll go talk to them. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up getting an on-campus on, on interview, and I was like, I don't care how great this place is, I'm not going to Ohio. <laughs> and then I came here and I went, wow, this place is really great. And so I got offered the job and, and decided to take it and have not regretted it since. I feel like that's what everyone says about coming to Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you teach here and what is your favorite thing to teach? I am in the Communication and Media Department. I'm actually the Chair of the Communication and Media Department. Um, I teach the Communication Studies side of Communication. Um, my favorite class to teach is my Interpersonal Communication class. I took them. Yeah, it's a, it's a great class. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, did you play any sports when you were younger? I danced. I was mm -hmm. not an athlete. Well, that still counts. In the traditional, in the traditional sense of the word, yeah. <laughs> Are you a soccer fan? I am. <laughs> I really am. Um, I have lots of soccer players in my classes, and so mm -hmm. I, they're great students. But one of the first times I went to watch a soccer game, I was um, fascinated by kind of the, the subtlety mm -hmm. of the game. So I am a soccer fan. What is your favorite thing about Heidelberg? Uh, the people, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just... You know, there's there's a lot of universities, there's a lot of little towns, there's a lot of, but there just seems to be something really amazing about the people here. Mm -hmm. I agree. If someone was on the fence about coming here, what would you say to persuade them? Um, lots of universities like to talk about how they're a family, mm -hmm. um, and we are, and I'm sure they all feel that they are as well. But Heidelberg does a really great job of adding to it's not just an education that you get here. You know, we have all of these little added incentives that are um, more bang for your buck, but also you, it's more, uh, more information to help prepare you for af life after college. I agree. And not everybody does that. Mm -hmm. Are you a big Heidelberg sports fan? I am. Um, since coming here, I have tried to add another like I can't go to everything, mm -hmm. so every semester I try to like do a different, um, app, you know, mm -hmm. a different sport. I still need to get to basketball. <laughs> <laughs> basketball games are really fun. Yeah, they yeah. are. <laughs> so are you coming to our game tonight? I was not aware there was a game tonight, but yes, Seven I will do my right best here. to be there. So <laughs> Seven o'clock right here. Um, what is your favorite TV show or Netflix series? Um, nothing current, but I absolutely love the show Dexter. Mm -hmm. Probably one of my top three shows. My mom loves that show. Mm -hmm. It was a great show. I loved X Files. I loved Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Aging myself here, <laughs> but I like kind of the little bit bizarre mm -hmm. kinds of television. Yeah. If you had to go on a cross-country road trip with three fictional characters, who would they be and why? <laughs> That's on all of the Scholar's Day stuff. That's where I got it from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great question. Um, fictional characters. Gosh, all of the times I've heard students answer this and I haven't really thought about it myself. I think I would want, well, okay. Not going to lie. My favorite artist of all time is Prince. Mm -hmm. Again aging myself. <laughs> so I would want him there because I find him fascinating and would love to kind of 
bask in his genius a little <laughs> bit more. Um, other fictional or other characters, um, Harry Potter would be helpful, mm -hmm. just for the whole spell thing, and he seems to be able to get out of scrapes easily. And then third, um, another one, I'd kind of like to get to know Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She's not fictional, but I don't have much of a chance of road tripping with her, <laughs> but I'd like to pick her brain too. She's yeah. a pretty amazing woman. I remember I said, at Scholar's Day, I said, Scooby-Doo, Jack Sparrow, and Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Those are all good choices. I vividly remember yeah. that. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, who is your celebrity crush? It's got to be Prince. He's, he's been, since I was 15 years old, <laughs> he's been like my absolute, I just think he's amazing. I agree. I was crushed when he died. If you could make a rock band out of any three faculty members and yourself, who would you choose and why? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Dr. Deuce Decker would have to be the... the the lead singer, mm -hmm. right? Although she is an, she is an opera. Um, the other three would have to be uh, Dr. Barris and Dr. Wardink, mm -hmm. just because I feel like they volunteer me for a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I would like to repay the favor. I completely understand. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a tough question. I don't know who I would put in my rock. But then there's all others, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Steven Swoboda in theater and David Cotter in theater would be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Barry said Steven too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So there's a lot of people that would be really good at that. Yeah. Well, that's all the questions that I have for you. Okay. So thank you so much for doing that. Oh, it was my pleasure. And make sure you follow us on all of our social media and stay updated with us and see you at the game tonight. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs>